Hello. Hello. What's your name? Celine. Hello, Celine. Hi, Jack. What story have you got for us? Well, this is my second visit to the Red Chair, actually. Oh. I was here eight years ago. Right. And I told a story that I thought was really good about when I was living in France and something happened with my daughter. However, a certain guest on the sofa that night really did not like my story and he was rather rude. Uh. Oh. Uh -huh. He actually said, is that the best story she could come up with? Who does she bloody think she is? <laughs> Funnily enough, my daughter met this person at a nightclub recently. Oh, and... my God, it's me. <laughs> I sent you a message, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. No, thank you very much. You did apologise. I know. I'm so sorry. OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so awkward. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Jess. Jess, lovely. And what do you do, Jess? I'm a PA. A PA? To...? <laughs> to, um... Someone in finance. <laughs> OK. And uh, when you all go back to work on Tuesday, might you be fired after telling this story? Quite possibly, yeah. <laughs> OK, let's go for it. Uh, OK, Jess, off you go with the story. Um, so I used to live with my best friend. Um, and we had a film night one night where we'd get in bed in our matching onesies. And we were actually watching Pitch Perfect. Hi, Rebel. Yeah, and nice. um, uh, we were, <laughs> we were lying back watching it, drinking our wine. And about halfway through, we ran out of wine. So I leant forward to pause the film on my laptop. And what my, friend, what my friend didn't know is I don't wear any underwear under my onesie. I just had nothing on underneath. Um, and what neither of us knew is I had a hole in the crotch of my onesie. So I leant nice. forward to pause the film. And at the same time, my friend, who wasn't really paying attention, she went to poke me in the bum. <laughs> um, and as fate would have it, her finger and the hole in my onesie and a part of me she shouldn't be touching all lined up. <laughs> And there was this moment where I turned around, like, and her face was like... <laughs> and we just sat there frozen, and then we didn't talk for about a month. <laughs> we couldn't look at each other in the eye. as well. Yeah. You can walk as well. Uh, OK, sorry, David, we got distracted. No, no problem. Uh, off you go with your story. <laughs> Um, so back when I started at university, um, I met this lovely girl and spent a lovely evening with her. Um, in the morning, she woke me up and threw me out, and I was half asleep, half naked. Um, the next week, I walked into my lecture theatre, um, meeting these new people for the first time, and this guy was telling a story about how he had these new trainers of this guy who had slept with his girlfriend. Um, I had to sit in that lecture theatre with that gentleman for four years, and he's still got my trainers. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good story. <laughs> you can walk, you can walk. You can walk, David. Uh, he slept with a guy's girlfriend. Yeah. And she stole his shoes. And he ran out, because leaving his shoes. Uh. And, and the guy was wearing his shoes? Yes. Yeah, oh, yes. Shoes. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that good? Uh, hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Sarah. Sarah. And uh, what do you do, Sarah? I'm a midwife. <gasps> a midwife? Oh. Can I get oh. one? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. D David Tennant was a loyalty card. <laughs> you better have six. Six and you get a loyalty. <laughs> and uh, no, I said it's a good story. Midwife will have a yeah. good story. Mm. Uh, off you go with your story. Unfortunately, it's not about being a midwife. It implicates oh. my boyfriend. So, um, okay. my boyfriend is lives in Scotland. So I was over here visiting him, and it's the second time I'd met his family which, since we've been together. So we like drove to a royal part of Scotland, and we parked um, and jumped out of the car to go for a walk. And there was a playground there. So Sam ran to a seesaw, and I went to the other side. Um, he's a lot bigger than I am. So when he jumped on, I went up. And the first time, I got a little bit of air, and I pulled myself down. And I laughed, and because I laughed, the next time he did it, he catapulted me into the air, like 10 to 12 feet in the air, and I landed teeth first on a metal bar. So in front of his whole family, I smashed three of my teeth in, and um, yeah, I was beside the bar, and I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. All of my teeth are in the wrong place, but I'm fine. I was definitely not fine. And um, yeah, so what a introduction. Now, Got can I just say, named. are you still with that moron? <laughs> <laughs> 
Not unfortunately. Mm. Yes, I definitely am. He's the loveliest. So, and plus, I've got the best, you know, Tenzin. thing of over him. So, yeah. In years to come, I think. And I'll your be new like... teeth are lovely. Yeah. <laughs> two, of, two of them are still dead, and there's still tooth shattered into my lips. So. <laughs> you deserve, You must walk. You have Thank to walk. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> are you from Australia or New Zealand? I am from Australia. Okay. Do you know that like, this, this what she called Sarah? Yeah, I do know her. Okay. <laughs> are you related to her in some way? Yeah, she's my twin sister. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, They're both my sisters too. Hmm? They're both my sisters as well. <laughs> Six of us in Australia. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, <laughs> yeah. guys. Australia's empty at the moment. <laughs> the lights are out. Everyone left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and are you travelling with your sister, or what's the story? No, I live in London and she's visiting. Oh, OK. And uh, how are your teeth? My teeth are fine. Yeah, good. So... I know. <laughs> it's, they do look perfect. Yeah, we've got good, <laughs> good dentists. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, OK, off you go with your story. Um, so, this is a story about my cousin. So, we're visiting them in Adelaide. And as we were flying, they met us at the airport to see us off. And my cousin was four years old. And as he was watching our plane take off, he put his hands on his hips, looked up at the sky and said, I can't wait till I'm old enough to ride a virgin. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie, lovely. And uh, what do you do, Stephanie? I work in marketing. <gasps> marketing? And uh, where do you, are you from, you're not from here. I'm from Chicago. Uh, but you do live here now? Yes, I live in London. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, okay, off you go with your story. So my story is actually about Stormzy. Uh, so just recently, <laughs> my uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Okay, I'm poised, Stormzy. I'm... <laughs> just give me the, give me a look, Stormzy, I'm at any time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, keep going. Uh, so just recently, my fiance and I were moving to London, and we had gotten up so early to try and beat the traffic. But of course, while we were headed there, we hit horrible traffic at this roundabout. And I was telling my fiance, make sure you keep up with the cars in front of you because we are late to pick up the couch. Uh, and we were finally about to get out of this traffic once we were stuck in it for ages. And out of the corner of my eye, I see this car just slowly inching forward, trying to get in front of us. And all of a sudden, my fiance slams on his brakes. And I look over, and all I see is Stormzy popping his head out of the passenger window, giving us a cheeky wave. And my fiance was so excited, he let him through the light, and we ended up missing it and not being able to pick up our couch. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Hey, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stormzy, walk or walk or flip? Flip, man. Uh, <laughs> 